Alright everyone and welcome back to some more Minecraft, it's the Lemon King here and today I want to be showcasing you guys a new server that I've been playing and I've been playing on the server for a couple days now and it's really piqued my interest and I want you guys to get to get to see it if you haven't seen it already and get the server to grow and also I want you guys to come on and join me because I have a nice town here and I need some residents and hopefully you guys can come and join. But this ta this uh, server is called Mine Race, and it is a townie survival server in Minecraft. And if you're not familiar with townie, basically you have the ability to start towns, claim your land, grow bigger, get your friends involved, have different residents, have different shops, and other kind of cool things. And then grow and grow and grow, and eventually join nations and grow into big nations and things like that. So without further ado, I want to get jumping in here in a sec because looking at the time, the server is about to take tax collection, which is part of the whole town experience if you're not familiar, but this is the lobby that you spawn and you spawn right here where this guy's standing right now. And you go over here and click the uh, golem and you are ready to start the game. Now, I am at my house of course because that's the last place I logged out in. It does have a custom resource pack that allows like bananas and stuff, but this is the spawn where you will start at. I think there's another place you start at first that just goes over some of the rules. But <clears throat> so at so the basic thing I wanted to rush in here for is at noon every day, Eastern Standard Time, which is eleven fifty eight now, there is a tax collection. So basically if you're not familiar with Townie, the amount of claims, the amount of chunks, each claim that town is a chunk. And a chunk is sixteen by sixteen in Minecraft, where every claim you have for your town, and I think my town has like as you can see, 16 claims. So my tax rate, my daily upkeep is $160, which is $10 per chunk. And the taxes that I force or I set for the residents to pay is $50 in tax a day. And these are the residents, me and the co-mayor that we started this with, and then one of the residents that's joined the town. There's only three of us, and I don't think me and the mayor, the other co-mayor, actually pay taxes according to the server. So we're just donating money from depositing money but anyway how it works is at noon eastern standard time every day the server automatically takes the taxes from everybody that's a resident and puts it into the bank and also subtracts out from the bank balance the daily upkeep which in our case is 160 dollars so it will pop up with a message in chat and that's what i'm just trying to keep an eye on so you can actually see what happens if you don't pay your taxes it gives you the message saying taxes have been collected it's a new day if you do slash county time it tells you how many how much time until a new day as you can see 31 seconds until a new day starts and that's when it collects the taxes and then after it prints that it also says these are the feet these are the towns that have been disbanded for people not paying taxes and it also puts a mention on there these are the people or the residents that have been kicked out of your town because they haven't paid taxes so we'll just keep an eye on the chat here it's going to pop up in just a second time five seconds to be exact so this is what it'll look like when it all processes through assuming nothing changed There you go, so it says a new day is here, taxes and rent have been collected, the town staff are exempt from taxes, and then it says, after that it would say these are the people that have been kicked from your town because they haven't afforded taxes, and then it says the following towns couldn't afford their upkeep and have been disbanded, so these are the towns where there wasn't enough money in the bank, and their towns are no longer, so you have to keep a general influx of money coming in in order to hold your town. So that's when I do slash town, I can see that now it took out money out of my balance from before. So if you're not familiar with town, you can go watch a town tutorial on how all this works, but that's just the important stuff you need to know for this server. But on the other hand, for the actual aspects of the server that you enjoy, <clears throat> you spawn in here. And one thing that I do want to show you is that there's a couple neat features that hop around spawn. You can learn more about the server by clicking the server pro. You can then join yourself. This guy will exit spawn and it'll do some warps. But one thing that the server does have is voting. You can vote once a day with slash vote. I've done it already, but there's six sites you can go and join on. 
and for each site that you vote on it'll give you $500 cash so you can make $3,000 a day easy just by voting and you also get these vote crate keys and if you go over to Mr. Groot here there's a vote crate there's mystery crates that you get from dungeons and quests which I'll talk about in a second and then there's some other crates that you can buy from the server store for actual money but if I click on the voting crate it is loud that's for sure turn it down in a second but there's a bunch of different options that pop up in here, ranging from this one's one of the more rare ones, it's a moonstone. But also there are small money pouches in the first first. Turn that down a little bit. And you have money pouches and they just throw money in. So I got $250 from that money pouch. So now my balance is up if I do slash bell is up to that. And there's also this daily rewards guy. So if you have the I just did this thing. In Apple, obviously, it's over 24 hours. I there's different ranks that come along with the server. So, as you can see in chat, there is a little tag next to people's names. You have Raging, Crusader, Rank, Wanderer. Wanderer is the basic one you spawn, and everybody starts as a Wanderer. Then you have all of our staff, of course. But if you're there, are there's different types of ranks. So, if I do slash ranks in the chat. There are the in-game ranks, which are the ones you can just rank up naturally in-game, and there's the store ranks. So if you do the store ranks, these are the ones that cost money on the server store. So if you're willing to pay money on the server store, you can rank up into these big ranks. But that's the actual list when I can't even read, so I don't even know what this thing was. Okay, so these are the ones you can buy, but otherwise, just walk back. There's in-game ranks, and these these in-game ranks use the regular money that you collect in-game from towning. So, like I just said, I have twenty-one, how many thousand dollars? I just got two hundred fifty dollars. So you start out as the wanna rank, which really doesn't have any special perks. And then once you have a thousand dollars, you can rank up to the peasant rank. And in this case, the peasant rank has access to slash recipe, access to slash kit food. So if I do slash recipe, say. Let's say stairs. I guess it's technically well, it's the, um, something that's only one word. It's easier to type. So if I do slash recipe lantern, it'll give me the recipe for a lantern. Slash get food on the other hand gives you some food. So you have bananas, which again custom resource pack, and it'll give you a kick. So those are some of the perks for the peasant rank i am currently up to a merchant rank and i haven't i have the money to get cleric but i haven't yet so the next you can go up for another two thousand dollars after that you can get the paladin which gives you all the perks from the previous rank plus you get the daily rewards opening which i just showed you up in the top there that i already did you can use elevators you can gamble with slash dice there's the first dungeon unlock you can get and there's quest that goes along with the dungeon which I believe is killing like a hundred mobs or something in the dungeon, and you get the title. And then if you keep going up, you end up with auctioning, more houses, chest stalls, rent in the market, the cleric can do some marrying, crusader, and you can read this all, you can go on here, but they just continually gradually go up in cost, as you can see, they just keep going and going and going with the amount of money that are on here. So those are the ranks. Again, I went through all this in here. Server tour. Uh, there is a title selector, so sometimes the game glitches out and doesn't give you the title you want. So if you have a title that you own, so I own these three, I can put up that title. So it'll show up in chat. So right now I'm at the merchant, so if I were to type in chat, it would show up like this guy has Crusader, this guy has No Wool, that kind of stuff. So it'll just pop up in chat. And then as, uh, I believe the further you go up, and of course with some of the purchase ranks, you can uh, change your names and change stuff like there's people that have special names in here um, and then there's also in here the special titles so a bard mage general like these different challengers a bunch of different things that you can get in the store and there's some special quests that come along with so I'll show you in a second with quests that have that but otherwise you feel free to roam around spawn there is a black market down here I guess it's called the black market guard so if we come down here and check out what the uh, people have for sale in here, you can find some specialty gear, the Hell Reavers, and these are all paid with different special currency. So there's different kinds of currency on the server, which 
I'll get to when I go over to the shop. But these are paid with Titan keys, which are one of the higher end, you know, black market, higher end type of costs. Makes sense. And they're like really special armor. So there's different currencies. That's not just the money that's in game. So if you come out here and also if you join the server for the first time, it will pop up with a welcome message and there's people that say welcome depending on how much people are actually paying attention. So there is some inner chests around that I haven't used any of them yet, but there is the Trader's District. You can find many shops out here. I don't know how developed it is. There is a marketplace, but I'll get to that in a second. So ranks, you can do your ranks here and upgrade well. So there is MC and MC MMO jobs installed in the server. So the easiest way, besides voting, to collect money is to work jobs. So you have the miner, the digger, the miner, which involves mining blocks, the digger, which is shoveling blocks, the farmer, as you can imagine, woodcutting, fishing, hunting, the voyager, which is as much as breaking blocks and killing monsters, and the end and nether, which the end is disabled, and the nether I haven't been in yet because it's only so big. But I do believe they refresh the nether every so often so that you can uh, get fresh blocks. Then there's the builder, the blacksmith, the cook, and the sorcerer. The two that I use the most are the builder because I'm doing a lot of building around the town. It makes a lot of money, and the hunter because I'm usually grinding levels, so I'm killing mobs, which gets me two for one. So then you have the dungeons over here. So as you rank up, it will unlock access to the dungeons. So the Frostman Caverns is the easy one that you get at Paladin, and they refresh every two hours. So you can come in and fight the mobs in them, and it tells you the difficulty and the requirement rank that you need to get into these dungeons. And then there's the Quest Master. So, another way to get easy money, and this gives you all different types of currency, is by coming on and doing quests. So, if for instance we do the mining quest, I can go and break 500 stone every two hours and get $500 in game money. And then if you step it up and go to 2000, you get weathered relics, which are another type of currency. Go again to moonstone, another type of currency. Then you get the shattered crystals, another one, and obviously you can tell by the quality, by how much you actually have to do in the tasks, how rewarding it is with these qualities. So again, there's Mr. Creek for these video quests. So you have mining, woodcutting, farming, fishing, and hunting, and then you have some milestone quests, which it can only be done once. I've done, I believe, the first five. I haven't done the sixth one yet, but $1,000 for creating a full set, $2,000 for creating some iron, or finding iron and gold, and then crafting blocks with them, etc., etc. Then it turns into credits. Credits can be done through slash redeem that are used for MC MMO points. So you can, if you have credits that are in here, you can uh, assign them to different ranks. And then if you go on to points, points are used in the points store. So if you do this correctly. If you do slash warp point, there's different ways to get to this place over here. But this is where you redeem a lot of the different things. So, Gerald is your exchange and change and So these are where you use
of things balance out that you really don't need to go onto the online store to pay money and donate to the server, but obviously they'll greatly appreciate that if you can. So I didn't realize that was right here. So this is the, where they mentioned the, uh, the Traders District over here. And the Leaderboard District goes over some of the leaderboards that will be like voting and then so all kinds of stuff like that. So when you teleport, you can teleport to different places. There's the survival world, which is where you can build, where you can build your towns and set up everything like that. There's the resource world, which has a 10% plus 10% correspond rate, which is nice for gathering and collecting resources. That way you can like pretty much tear up the terrain and no one's really there to build. So it's more for just collecting resources. And then there's the marketplace. So we'll start with the marketplace. So like it said within the ranks, sounds. If you look at the merchant rank, you unlock the ability to rent a stall in the market. So you can learn more about running shops through this guy. There's different types of information that you can read, all kinds of stuff, setting up shops. But if you come down here, there's different little stalls right here that you can rent out and sell stuff in. So this person decided just to put up slash warp to target. So I want to warp to target. This is the store that I've linked here. And this is like the big online store that exists. It's uh, the Blitz store. And this had, well, this isn't the Blitz store, this is Target. Target's not the big one. Target has a bunch of stuff, but there's people that will advertise their shop in the marketplace because they can get more stuff in their actual shop. Again, there's warps for almost everything in here, so keep that in mind. But yeah, you can rent out one of these stalls down here and teleport to different places and things like that. So if I do, say, an RT, you also have the RTP command, which allows you to randomly teleport to one of these places. So to start, I'm going to teleport to the resource world, just to show you what it looks like before I get into the survival world and into my town. So, of course, spawn in the water. In the middle of scenic nowhere. And there's a swamp. Okay. And the server is up to date, like 1.15.2, I guess it's at. Yeah, 1.15.2 in vanilla. And there's a lot of rules that come along with the server. You don't... Griefing is the big one. There is no griefing and there's no PvP unless you go to the PvP world. So, be in mind that if you decide to come out here and grief, you are going to get at least a warning to start with small stuff and then a ban. So, this is the resource world. Come around here, you can travel around with RTP. You do have a cooldown with RTP that, you know, kind of... It's like a two and some minute cooldown. And you also have God Mode to start, so that way you can uh, survive from the mobs that initially start and, and get a minute of God Mode. That so now if I work to the shop. So there's different shops that really are the big ones. Shop 1 is the big shop. This is the Blitz shop. There's a lot of different shops around here, a lot of different things you could buy and sell. You could have your own shops if you get to that point. You can have your own shops in your town that let people drive. There is a panda in here too. And then you have an enchanted table. And then another one, the reason I like this shop a lot is because there are some grinders down. So if you just want to grind zombies, skeletons, and spiders, you can just teleport down here. And there are some grinders down here for everybody to access. So that way you can easily grind up the mobs for the quests and you can grind up levels easy way. Others we could work to fast XP and fast money. Fast XP has Blaze, Blaze Zombie Pigment, and uh, let me turn this down again. There. So this shop right here has, or this this grinder has uh, Vindicators or what you remember to call them. Vindicators, those guys, and Blaze and Zombie Pigment that you can get faster XP for down here, and then you can obviously sell or you can buy different stuff that they collect here. So you're basically making them money at this point too. Then if you go to fast money, you can make fast money by doing some simple farming. And this looks like it's still at doing some under construction work. But anyway, none of that. I am going to go home. So if I do home. Or if I just walk to my city. Or I guess it's uh, town. Spawn. 
my city is called London Beach. It'll take you to my town. So this is my wonderful abode that I set up. This is not well, the house, but this is the spawn of the town. So in my town, I go ahead and I list out the rules. And I have also a book that I give to every new resident so that they have the rules on hand. But general server rules, town tax may change. This town is a beach town, so we're trying to keep it a little bit beach themed. Just keep in mind that all the other stuff you can read if you join. Then our server, our, uh, our personal discords for me and the co-mayor, so that you can contact us on Discord if you need to. And also, the big reminder, F3G is the big one for the server. So if I hold F3 and press G, it'll show the lines for the chunks. So everything is chunk based. So this is the home chunk right here, or the where I started the town. Then if I jump over to this chunk, this is my house chunk. I own at least two chunks going that way. So if I step outside here, the town doesn't own this area over here. It's all there is. And if I come in here, it's this town. So again, I'm not going to go into an M or a town needs to worry. You can look up that on your own, but this is just showing you what's going on here. So this is my house. I did I make a abode that I have set up here. This isn't the first house I had built here. I actually set up another house and then tore this down because I wanted something a little bit fancier looking while also keeping the beach theme. So I have a nice little area here and then I also utilize the elevator technology that comes with my rank, which is, I guess, Paladin was the last rank I got. So then I have my chest up here and I have a nice little observatory to look down upon the center square of the town and that kind of stuff. And then I also have the elevator going down for more storage. So the nice thing about towns is everything's protected. No one can come in here and use my stuff. And there also is chest protection and furnace protection. So we're trying to keep everybody just doing their own thing, living in a nice, peaceful environment, unless you're in the PvP area where you can go fight. So this is our nice little town spawn. As you can see, it's unowned. I have this just this community. This is our farm plot. Again, we can have cows because of my limits, but this is our little farm with the animals and stuff here. And then we also have all the crops down here. Tomatoes for all of our uh, yeah, tomatoes. Uh, carrots, potatoes, beets, beets, beetroots and stuff. Melons, pumpkins, and wheat. And then downstairs we have our sugar cane and cactus. And this makes for an easy quest too, because one of the quests is to collect like 25 sugar cane and uh, some melon and pumpkin and we have enough downstairs in one swipe to complete that, so it's nice. This is our farm. And then over here is the co-mayor's house, XOXONY. She lives here, and I actually built this house for her because she doesn't have the mindset. Well, I don't want to say that. She she apparently claims to be lazy at building. She's never seen this thing. Probably trying to kill me, but it's fine. But yeah, she was she wanted me to build a house for her, so I built this house so she can have her own little place. And then if we move along over to this side over here, we have the Lemon Beach Pier. We can come out and just chill out on the pier. And then we have our message board that has public messages that different residents can post. And then we have our community messages that us as the mayor's post. And then we have our eating hall. That is a nice little place to meet. And again, I have the book up here for the resident guide manual that was written only a couple days ago and it goes over everything that's basically in the uh, in the spawner and what you can have it on the go. But other than that, that's all the town really has right now. We're waiting to get more residents. We do have one, like I said, Cloudcast, she's building over here. And I gave her a nice little book as the welcome and the cake. So she hasn't been on the build. And one of the rules is if you're not active for more than seven days, you will be kicked if there are people that want to live here. So if we have people that want to live and build and participate, then they're going to get the higher priority. But we have different plots available. This plot right here is $600 if you want to come live in the town. Nice little beach access. And again, it is, I set this as a cheaper price overall because there's less land to work with, but you can build out into the ocean. Just Again, we're trying not to terraform the land too much. We want to keep it as natural as possible. And then if we float over to the other side, we have three more plots, about $1,000 each because they are bigger plots. And of course, you can buy multiple plots if you want. If you want to buy more than one, you can just buy two. I don't think there is a set limit I can think of yet. But in this area, I was trying to thinking about trying to turn into a uh, an open chest area where people can just drop off their unused stuff, some community chests, so break and share some stuff for free.
but yeah this is the town you guys can feel free to come on the server the ip will be in the description below you can come on and join and again like it says a thousand dollars for sale it really isn't that much when you consider it considering that you can do one vote per day and get three thousand dollars off the bat that's already enough to come in and buy a plot and go out and if you do jobs like collecting wood and mining for your house that's going to raise more money and then you can do quests like go down here to the farm and collect some simple stuff for five hundred dollars here five hundred dollars there once you get to getting the diamond stuff you can do that quest for a thousand dollars so there's really no excuse except for not playing that you won't have enough money to purchase a plot and to be able to pay the taxes because again like the taxes right now are set at $50 a day so if I look at my balance I'd be in well okay shape to pay $50 a day for a while and even in the server itself the server is pretty well set up with 11,000 and I can add more in the corner can add more at any time depending on when we need to have more money but right now we're looking to get some more people into the town we're looking for people of all different varieties people that want to build people that want to collect and do farming Again, this is a whole community experience. And of course, you can still join the server and start your own town if you wish. You can always have that option to go and do your own thing. But we are looking for members to our town to become part of this little tight-knit community. Everything that I've that has been built here has been all me so far. So, yeah, that was the point of this video. If you guys want to come and join my race, it would be awesome. And I'm sure everybody would really appreciate you right now. The server holds up to, I think, 200 people. And like I, right now I'm playing in the early afternoon, so it's not many people on, but as we start getting in later in the day, towards the evening, the server gets populated like 130, 140, 150 people on at one time, so there's going to be a wide variety of people you can meet. So, yeah, come on, check out the server for yourself, and if you want to join the town, just catch me while I'm on, or again, you saw the Discord in the video, you can go back and look up the Discords here, and you can, uh, Send me a message on Discord. Hey, I want to join the town. I'm just going to walk you through it. Make sure you know all of the uh, <clears throat> the rules. Make sure you know all the rules. Because if you do not, you will be kicked out of the town with all your stuff being taken for the town itself. So, be careful what you do. And be careful about the server rules because briefing and all kinds of stuff like that will get you warned and banned pretty quickly. So, yeah, that's all I can think about for this video. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave it down below. And yeah, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It would be awesome. If you guys want to do that and support the channel. And as always, I will be streaming more on Twitch coming in the future once I check and make sure everything is good. Again, I'm trying to get it all set up for the first time, make sure the video quality is good, making sure all the scenes are set up, making sure I got the games, what I'm going to do, and all kinds of stuff like that. So that'll be coming in the near future. If you guys want to go and hop on my Twitch, that'll be linked down below as well, and get ready for some awesome new content. But other than that, that's the end of this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I hope to see you on the server real soon. Take care.